Now let's turn our attention to the war in Ukraine. Yesterday, Kiev announced a high-profile scalp, a Russian commander. Ukraine said they'd kill the commander of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. His name is Viktor Sokolov. He led this fleet based in the Crimean Peninsula. Now this fleet is Russia's most battle-hardened naval force. It is key to Moscow's dominance of the Black Sea. Taking down its commander would have been a great prize. And Kiev said it did it. But this is war, and every claim should be taken with a large pinch of salt. Initially, Russia refused to comment on this announcement, but today they released a video. A video that completely rubbishes Ukraine's claims. Here's a report. Ukraine has been ramping up attacks on Crimea lately. Russia had annexed the peninsula back in 2014. It's the headquarters of a prized Russian flotilla, the Black Sea Fleet. And this Russian naval jewel has been in Ukraine's crosshairs. The attacks have been escalating, and Kyiv said it has finally hit the bullseye. Or should we say they sprung the crab trap? Because that's reportedly the name of the operation, Operation Crab Trap. Last Friday, Ukraine launched missile attacks on Sevastopol. That's the largest city in Crimea. It's where the Russian fleet is based. Moscow claims it intercepted five Ukrainian missiles on Friday, but videos show that at least one of them got through and it struck the Black Sea Fleet headquarters, apparently when a high-level meeting was taking place. Immediately after the attack, Russia said one person had died, but shortly after that, Moscow changed its story. It said one officer was missing and no one was injured. Ukraine claims otherwise. Yesterday, Ukraine's special forces released a casualty count. They said 105 people were injured, 34 people were killed. Among the dead was the commander of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Ukraine's special forces didn't mention the name, but a Ukrainian advisor did. Ukraine claimed to have killed Vice Admiral Viktor Sokolov. Sokolov is a grizzled naval veteran. Between 2013 and 2020, he was deputy commander of Russia's Northern Fleet. Then he became Russia's Naval Academy chief, almost a retirement posting. But last August, Moscow decided they needed him back at the front lines. Sokolov was given command of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. This was at a time when Ukraine had turned its guns on Crimea. Sokolov was brought in to stabilize the situation, and Ukraine wanted him out of the way. Kyiv thought it got rid of this veteran on Friday, or they wanted us to believe it anyway. After all, both Ukraine and Russia have been known to exaggerate their battlefield reports. So, whether it was by accident or design, Ukraine said Sokolov was dead. The Russian Defense Ministry did not confirm nor deny the news, but they soon released this video. Sokolov is shown alive and well. He was attending a video call with Russia's Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. To add insult to injury, Shoigu taunted Ukraine in the video. Despite the lack on any significant results of the so-called counteroffensive, there have been a spring counteroffensive, summer counteroffensive. It's autumn now, so now we have an autumn counteroffensive. The Western curators of Ukraine do not back from their inhuman principle, weaponry as a way for peace. This is embarrassing for Kyiv. Either it was a clear intelligence failure, or they were trying to mislead people. But it's not all bad news and red faces for Kyiv. One thing seems to have gone their way. America's Abrams tanks have arrived. Today, the Defense Minister delivered an important report. The first American-made Abrams tanks are already in Ukraine. We are preparing them to reinforce our actions against the occupiers, and it will be a significant reinforcement. The tanks could provide the boost Ukraine is looking for as its counteroffensive falters. Kyiv keeps trying to make progress in the south and east. It's reportedly regaining territory, but at a snail's pace. Instead, the war's focus seems to have shifted. It has devolved into a drone and missile barrage. Russia keeps bombarding Ukrainian cities and infrastructure, all the way up to the country's border with Romania. It's particularly targeting Ukraine's port facilities. And Kyiv is focused on Crimea, even if its aim seems to be faulty.
But unless significant territory changes hands, the conflict may remain frozen for the foreseeable future.